In this video, I will compare Tidico versus Calendly and tell you which of these scheduling tools may be best for you and your needs. So first, what exactly can you do with them? So they both are scheduling tools, but they have some differences and I'll explain those in this video. So first, Calendly has a completely free plan available and so does Tidycall. So you can use both of them for free. Now Calendly's free plan is for individuals starting out with basic scheduling. In this plan you get unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings, one event type. So for example if you own a barbershop and you have a bunch of different types of services, then that of course won't be enough. Now you can connect one of your calendars, integrate video conferencing, you can even customize your booking page and send confirmation emails for free in this plan. Now when we compare this to Tidycall's free plan, you can also create your own booking page with custom availability. But one great thing about Tidycall's free plan is right here the active booking types, which is the same thing as on Calendly the event types. But here it's unlimited even in the free plan. You will have some branding of Tidycall. But you can see the pricing of Tidycall is very straightforward to have a free plan, but then they also have a lifetime free plan for only $29, which is very, very cheap. Now in this plan, you will get a bunch of things. You will get advanced integrations. You can connect 10 calendars. You can offer paid bookings. If you would like to do that, you get unlimited bookings per month and more. Now comparing this to, for example, Calendly's standard plan here for $10 per seat per month, you also get unlimited event types, but it's a monthly subscription compared to just a one-time payment on Tidycall. So which one I would pick is pretty simple. First of all, if you want to do online meetings and you just want to book in Zoom calls, Google Meet, or maybe Microsoft Team calls. So if you have digital meetings that you want to book in, then I would personally go with Calendly, especially if you are working with a team. However, choosing Tidycall over Calendly can save you over $100 a year, but there are plenty of trade-offs. So you will need to take a close look at your needs, but here are some things to consider when you want to make a decision between Tidycall and Calendly. So first, go with Tidycall if you are a solo user that is looking to keep costs low. You will get all the essential scheduling features that you need, plus the satisfaction of paying a single fee for lifetime usage. Now, if you want to get that single payment, you will need to buy it through AppSumo. And you can see right here, $29. It has over 500 reviews and they have a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you want to buy it, I'll leave a link to this page down in the description. And from here, you can simply buy it for only $29 with a 60 day money back guarantee. Now you can see right here on Tidycall's homepage kind of what it looks like, the scheduling itself. Now, of course, you can really easily customize it all. And it's just a very straightforward scheduling tool. So on the other hand, I would go with Calendly if you have more than one person on your team and you need more than one calendar that people can book on. Also, if you have more than one location, I would also go with Calendly or if you need advanced features that Tidycall doesn't offer. For example, Calendly's workflows, unique event types, and routing options will make your life easier and boost your team's efficiency. So the easiest option is Tidycall, and especially if it's just you, you have no staff members, then I would go with Tidycall, and I would go with Calendly if you do have staff members, or maybe even multiple locations. And also if you want to book in digital meetings, I would also go with Calendly. So that concludes this comparison of Tidycall versus Calendly. Again, if you want to claim the Tidycall lifetime deal, go and click on the link down in the description. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.